Welcome to this edition of Girl Talk. We got a couch full of lovely ladies, Ms. Deborah and Tracy and Kelly and Michelle and crazy craft lady Heather. So there was a lady that was getting married, okay, and she obviously invited people and her friend said she was gonna come, RSVP said that she was gonna come, and then didn't because her mom was watching the kids, got sick and couldn't watch the kids. The friend sent her a bill for $75. <gasps> oh dear. Well, but it's a, she's a no-show. I mean, why would she send her That's a bill? Terrible. I mean, she invited her. I mean, what, what was it for? It was her wedding. But it was the, the oh, for that, okay. for the, you know, for so what for she, food, for, yeah, the food oh, okay. and everything. Because you know, it's normally like, you know, seventy five hundred bucks. Think a you send a bill. No, That's terrible. You remember no. that? That person's probably late. Yeah. yeah. Kids, if, the, if you think your mom, your mom is always she's go to. She's probably That's lying. Like 100%. She's like, she's thinking that like. That's a flaky friend. But she had a good oh, For sure. It's a, yeah, it's a flaky it's friend, but you don't send wedding. a bill. That's yeah. like no, embarrassing. That's tacky. That's, really, when, when you're giving a party, you don't always give the exact number. Exactly. And it was, I think it was her fault. She yeah. could have cut it back. Mm -hmm. Three to five people minimum. Unacceptable. It's absolutely yeah. unacceptable. So what do you do if you're that lady? Like, Heather, if you sent you me don't. a bill, what? I'd be like, why would you so send? Funny. Yeah, I would just ignore it. But possibly this friend is flaked and flaked and flaked. So you just don't invite him anymore. But then right? as a friend, like, you pay it? Like, I'm writing you a check? No, I, I would send a, I'd send a really nice note. I'd even go out and buy a really nice card and say, you yeah. know, I am so sorry. Sorry that I missed your wedding. I really don't even understand that you need to bill me. I, I, I'm sorry, but it was just one of those things I couldn't. I she couldn't clearly did not help. get a wedding present. Yeah, yeah I'll be nice. like, I'm gonna give you your money, but I'm gonna need my china plate. Now. Right. <laughs> and on, on, on the other ship, hand, I'm gonna need my lily okay, set back. So on the other hand. Ship. You yeah. could go ahead and pay it and send her a note and say, you know, please enjoy this $75, but honestly, I have never, ever, ever heard of somebody being charged. But you you, you put your I check in there that. and then that. send a really imagine. nice note, but there's a little bit of something to it that maybe makes her realize Hashtag, she was wrong. I will not forgive you because I don't remember that. All right. <laughs> pantyhose. Oh. When's the last time you've worn pantyhose? <sighs> It just depends on what I have on. Oh, like, like you, you wear them? Yes, but I don't have on a black, chic you know, dress. Like Sally Hansen's gray. Yeah. See, I work for it's federal liquid oh. hose. And dress coat. I think yes. flight attendants still have to wear pantyhose. There might be dark hose. So some people still yeah. do in their career have to. Yes. You don't want to see them. <laughs> I hate to see them. You wear the sheer to nude. Sheer to nude, yes. no nonsense. The Mayo Clinic, you know, I mean, that's kind of a prestigious mm -hmm. hospital organization. They just now cut their dress code so that the women don't have to wear pantyhose. They said, you know, the ladies, it's just kind of going out a little bit. We're going to finally. I'd be like, I'm a doctor. I'm trying I mean, to save people's lives. I hope right. anywhere I can It does make you feel more polished. Yeah, a little yeah. sheer. There's still, I know companies that still require, like ladies, if you're in a dress, you gotta have pantyhose. Yeah. Right. I wouldn't want to. Because it's a little bit of a, a, of a finishing. Mm -hmm. It's just polished. Okay, well, but it is out of style. Okay, now yeah. we're gonna end on a really, really hard hitting question. So just brace yourself for this, okay? All right, with Halloween coming up, do you prefer like fun, do it yourselfy, or should women go like straight sex? When they get say, Jack where are you and going? I go shopping for costumes, they get these really cool, awesome costumes, <laughs> like made of this beautiful, like magician's assistant. I had a giant rabbit costume. <laughs> yeah, but it worked. It worked. Like, I like I like less sexy, fun, more fun. I do mm -hmm. too. Do you rather be funny? Yeah. yeah, because I'm sexy all the time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> After a bar. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, Heard it here. Thanks. Okay, what do you think, Deb? If you're getting a Halloween costume, are you sexy enough or are you I, going I, just I, fun? I, I just hate to say I'm not getting a costume. <laughs> okay, if you if you had to, if we had a Halloween party, it was required. She, she already oh, told me she's just gonna be a French maid. Oh, I, I, that's, I, I, there you uh, go. I would just be going <laughs> as something fun, I guess. Yeah, something fun. Like my favorite yeah. is going to Gene Simmons because you can play that through the whole party. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you know? I do yeah. couples things. I do something that would match the other you person. Do something. And yeah. It's head to toe black, black turtleneck, black leggings, black vest. red lips. Red lips, put a little, you know, a little uh, whiskers. Yeah. And put your hair yeah. And you are Sexy. good to go. And you're good to go. They, there you go, and ladies. It's a little neutral. Oh, with all those same things, you can still do Gene Simmons. You just do the makeup a little different. Head to toe black and a little black and white makeup. And you just look at it yourself and say, hey, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> now the party can start. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. love it. Well, ladies, I got something for y'all for I Halloween. Love. This is from our great. Sponsor Ultra Skin. It's a vitamin D oil and it's going to restore our skin so we are so youthful. Thank you for being on Girl Talk. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.